Choosing the right type of polisher can be a bit overwhelming. So today we're gonna go over the different names, the pros and the cons, and really help narrow things down so that you can choose the right tool for your needs. Starting with the least aggressive option, you have orbital buffers. Orbital buffers are typically found with either six or 10 inch bonnets rather than foam pads. You're also gonna notice that they usually have a single speed and that you can find them in corded or cordless versions. Usually, orbital buffers are typically used for waxing or light polishing, but you can use an orbital to perform light compounding or light defect removal or remove some type of dullness from the paint. Because of the fact that orbital buffers will stop orbiting if you lean too hard or on an edge, they're very popular for first time users. Next up, you have a tool that goes by many different names, including Random Orbital or Random Orbit, Dual Action or DA. Sometimes they're referred to as polishers, sometimes sanders, sometimes both. And you'll even see all of those things combined together. For example, you could have a Random Orbit DA polisher sander. Now, what you'll notice about these types of machines is that they're typically gonna have somewhere between a three, five or a six inch vacuum pad for the hook and loop attachment, which means you can quickly change out your foam pads or your sanding discs on these tools. You're also gonna notice that unlike most of the orbital buffers, they feature variable speed controls. And you're also gonna find them in both corded and cordless formats. Now, what differentiates a random orbit DA polisher from an orbital is really the addition of a second motion, a rotational motion. It's the additional rotational motion that increases the amount of power delivery considerably. And that's what makes these tools uh, very versatile and acceptable for doing things ranging from sanding to compounding to polishing and waxing. Really, you can perform all of the necessary types of paint correction or enhancement with any one of these machines. One more thing to pay attention to with the name of these tools is that you have both a short throw version and a long throw version these days. Now what that refers to is the additional side to side motion that these tools make. There is a counterweight inside the tool that moves it around side to side. It typically is expressed in millimeters. So for example, a short throw is usually between three to eight millimeters of distance that it covers with that extra motion. Whereas a long throw tends to be between 12 and 21 millimeters. The reason you would have one or the other is that the shorter throw makes it a little bit easier to control in tight spaces. Whereas the long throw makes it more efficient at removing material or defects so you can cover large areas or take out more serious defects in less time. Because of the versatility of random orbit DA polishers, and the fact that you can get them in short throw versions, long throw versions, small pads and large pads and everywhere in between, you're gonna find that these are very popular options for the full gambit of users, ranging from first time users to enthusiasts and even hardcore professionals. Next, you have another tool that is actually a variant of the dual action known as a force rotation DA polisher. And the reason why this is a little bit different is that unlike these tools that have a random orbit plus a rotation, these tools have a built-in gearing in the tool that is attached to the backing pad. And what this does to make it different is that even if you bear down on that tool, particularly at low speeds, for example, this tool will continue to perform at the exact same speed based on the variable speed that you choose. So this is a great option for anyone who's working on very curvy cars, or maybe you just really struggle with keeping your pad perfectly flat and you notice that you're constantly losing rotation. This basically gives you another option that combines an eight millimeter throw with the power delivery typically found on a high speed or variable speed polisher or buffer. These are very popular for both an enthusiast and a professional. And a lot of folks really like these because they have low vibration levels. They're a lot easier to get the hang of in terms of being able to continue to operate even at low speeds. And it gives you the option to sand, 
compound, polish, or wax, all with a single machine. The most aggressive option of the bunch is known as a rotary. Now here we have a three inch rotary tool. You also have seven inch rotary in both cordless and corded. You can find these tools in both of those formats. And you're gonna find them in sizes ranging from some specialty one inch all the way up to the seven inch backing pads. And sometimes you're gonna see pads on them as large as 10 or 11 inches. Now, the main thing to understand about a rotary compared to any of the other polishers is that it spins in a perfect circle. Because of that, they can be very efficient at removing heavy defects or lots of material like oxidation or deep scratches. But you do want to keep in mind that finishing out with a rotary tool can take more skill and practice. And so it may be necessary if you use this to do your heavy compounding to then do a second or third step using a random orbit DA or dual action polisher to do your polishing to remove any types of marks or anything left behind that you may see in the paint from a rotary. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that these are typically going to use a hook and loop backing pad, much like the random orbitals. There are some other specialty options that are out there. And sometimes you'll see the use of a bonnet stretched over a foam pad on this for possibly removing uh, some polish or wax off of a surface. If you have any other questions about which polisher may be best for you, then be sure to reach out to Harbor Freight so that you can choose the right tool for your needs.